Welcome to Grace for All, a daily devotional podcast produced by the Congregation of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. Thank you for joining us. Today's message is My Father's House Has Many Rooms. We'll be reading from Romans chapter 2, verse 7. To those who by patience and well-being seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. English Standard Version When Paul talks in this letter to the Romans about glory and honor and immortality resulting from our good works, he is certainly not referring to those rewards in an earthly sense. Far from it. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 clearly states that it is by grace that one is saved. It is the gift of God, not earned by works, so that no one can boast. So then, what is Romans 2, 7 telling us, since we clearly cannot earn our way into heaven? Let's look at it this way. God's grace is the entry ticket to heaven. It is his gift to us. Jesus has said that no one comes to the Father except through me. John fourteen six. Jesus is the doorman. Jesus also told his disciples that his Father's house has many rooms and he has come to prepare a place for them. Once we enter heaven, there are many rooms and our reward of a place or room will be based on the works that we did to honor and glorify God while on earth. First, God saves us. Then, he later rewards us because we honored him in recognition of his saving grace. This is taught to us through his word. Of particular importance is to seek works that honor God and avoid those done to glorify ourselves. If we are patient and selective, the Holy Spirit will work within us to identify works worthy and honoring of God and help steer us from those that are done to bring attention and recognition to ourselves. Let us pray. Father, you have told us that you are the truth and the way and the life, and that those who have accepted you in faith will enter heaven. Now we are reminded that once we have come to you in faith, we should patiently and deliberately focus our efforts on works that glorify you rather than on ones that bring recognition to ourselves. We so appreciate that there are rooms in heaven for believers who glorify you with their lives while on earth. Thank you for your Son who taught us these things. Amen. This devotional was written by Roger Wilson and read by Judy Wilson. I'm Jonathan Jonas, the senior pastor of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee, and you've been listening to our congregation's Grace for All podcast. I'm so grateful for the lay members of our congregation who write, edit, and produce this podcast. To learn more about our congregation and its ministries, or to participate in our streaming worship services this weekend, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G. Until the next episode, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the presence of God's Holy Spirit be with you.